guys and thank you for stopping by my channel today. Today I have a beauty haul, makeup and hair and that sort of thing. If you haven't yet, you can check out my fashion haul that I posted previously. It's clothes, shoes, accessories, stuff like that. Um, I will have a link to that below if you want to check that out. So yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure you see that. And I'm just going to get started. Um, I went to, well, ordered from MAC, Sephora, and a few different like drugstore type of things. So I'm going to share that with you. So let's get started. We will start with MAC because I only got three things from there. First thing I got was just a repurchase. This is a mineralized skin finish natural. This is in the color light plus. Um, I, like I said, it's a repurchase. I already have this one, but I'm almost out of it and I love this powder. How do I get this open? They changed the packaging a bit, so it's a bit bulkier. Oh goodness. Uh, it is bulkier, but it includes a mirror now, which is really nice. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it's in the color light plus. I just think it looks really pretty on the skin. It looks really nice and natural as the name implies. So, okay, next up I got a blush. This one is in the shade Ginger Leaf. I've been wanting this one for a long time and I finally got it. It's just part of their regular collection. And I've been really into these kind of orangey apricot kind of shades of blush. So yeah, I like this one a lot. A little swatcheroo here. It is a matte blush. I did a swatch once, but whatever. There we go. Um, like I said, it, it's a matte blush, which I like a lot. And then I'll use like my um, uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and kind of go over it to give it more dimension if I feel like it needs a little something more. And yeah, I've been liking that a lot. It was recently out of stock for quite a while, which is really frustrating because I really want to get my hands on this. I've been lusting after it for quite a while. The last thing I got from Sephora is a lipstick. This is in the shade uh, Peach Blossom, which it's really pretty. I've been wearing it quite a few times, as you might be able to tell here. It is kind of similar, a little bit more pink, but similar to um, the blush that I got. It is a which kind of uh, cream sheen. So it's not like ridiculously opaque. I like it a lot. It's not drying on the lips or anything like that. Obviously it's not matte. It's got like that satiny, shiny finish kind of thing going on. But I have been enjoying that quite a bit. I'm gonna try to not get makeup all over my sleeve as I normally do when I do swatches. Um, okay, yes, and like I said, that is all that I got from MAC. Um, now from Sephora, I picked up a few things as well. I did a couple different shopping trips from there that I'm going to be sharing with you today. One thing that I bought that is currently on my lips is um, this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip and this is in uh, 23C and it had an actual color. It's, I think it's apricot, apricot something. It's not on here. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but like I said, it is 23C and to my lips. I have lip gloss on over it though. And it's in the same family as the other two products I've swatched for you. It is really close to the blush color. It's this, I don't know, peaky, pinky, peach kind of color. I've kind of been obsessed. It shows up pretty orange, which I like. I've been all about the orange lately. I don't know why. I never thought of orange as a great makeup color until recently. I'm like, everything is orange. But yeah, I've been really liking that. The um, Makeup Forever Aqua Lips, they are waterproof. They stay on a good long time. So it's really nice and you can wear it on its own or obviously you can wear it under something. I'm wearing it, like I said, under a uh, buxom lip gloss. So yay, liking that. Uh, something else that I got is a Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. It's an eye brightener. I have this, I think, I've, yeah, I've talked about it before. I have it in a different color. I think I have it in one and this is Luminous 2. This is more yellow toned whereas the other one is very pink or salmon colored. And I've been all about the yellows. I have quite a yellow undertone, I realized. So I've been trying to play that up more so than wearing things that are quite pink. Um, this, like I said, it's great for under the eyes as a nice highlight slash brightener slash help get rid of all those pesky dark circles. Um, it's not a very, um, I don't know, not very opaque, but it blends out nicely. It's thin. It doesn't crease like crazy on me. I don't know if you can see that at all. Probably not. It goes... I just feel like it goes better with my skin color, my skin tone, than the other one does. Although, the other one, since it does have that more um, pink color to it, it helps cancel out the dark circles kind of thing. But, you know, whatever. So I've got both so I can, like, mix and match and play and whatever. I like to have options. I'm a girl. Of course I like to have options. Okay. Um, oh, also, well, I'll that in a minute. Okay. I finally gave in and bought the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the first one. They have another one out, the Semi Semi-Sweet Chocolate bar palette but I'm just now getting the original first one 
Um, which, the good thing about me waiting is that I believe I got the thinner packaging. A lot of the complaints about this when it first came out was, oh my gosh, the packaging is really, really thick, and they fixed that on the newer palette, and I believe this is the thinner packaging now as well. It's nice and sleek. It is like um, a tin kind of casing, if you're not aware of it. Most people have this already. I really waited a long time. I thought, I don't know, I have all the naked palettes, both the regular naked and the basic naked palettes, so... I just felt like I had enough neutrals, but I don't know. I finally decided to go ahead and get this. I don't know what finally changed my mind, I just did. Um, and yes, as everyone says, it smells like chocolate. My husband thought that was particularly awesome. So, but yes, it smells like chocolate. Too Faced and a lot of their products are known for actually um, containing cocoa cocoa powder or something like that. So they actually do, ooh, that's a hair, that's a dog hair. They actually do smell like chocolate. I'm wearing this on the Abels today. My favorite color I think is uh, Cherry cor Cordial? Cherry, yeah, Cherry Cordial right here. It's like this um, uh, plummy color. So yeah, I played with this a few different times. I don't know if you definitely need this and the Naked palettes, if you have the Naked palettes, but if you're like me and you, it's like Pokemon, you gotta collect them all, then it's fun to have in your collection. And I've been having a good time with it. So, yeah, finally got this one. I might go ahead and get the second one eventually, but I don't feel like I'm in any huge rush. And like I said, this one's been out for a long time, so I was in no rush to get this one either. But I do like it. It is fun. They blend nicely, which is always a good thing. I had a good time putting together this look today, so yay. Okay, or don't close. It doesn't want to close for me. Whatever. You do you thing. And there's a dog in the room. Another thing that I've been putting off buying, like I said, this isn't a new thing, but it's one of the Benefit blo ugh, benefit Boxed Blushes. This one is in Coralista. I have quite a few of their blushes, and I just wanted another one. This one I think is going to be awesome for spring and summer. Yay! It is... It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, I think. It's so soft. Um, I will swatch it right here, sideways. It's similar to Gingerly, but a little more, um, pinky, and definitely it's shimmery, so it's got that, can you see that? I don't know, it's right, right here. You can see that right there. That's where it is. Um, yeah, like I said, this isn't a new product. People have been talking about it for a long time, but, um, yeah, it's a coral shade, obviously, as the name of Coralista implies. I really like the Benefit Box Blushes. They last forever, they go on nicely and smooth, and they look great all day. So, yay, got another one of those. Um, okay, something that's... That was an avalanche. Something that's new out that I wanted to try is the uh, Tarte Tartist, right? Tartist uh, Clay Paint Liner. This is a little bit different than anything I've ever seen before. It's pretty darn cool. I've been uh, using it a few different times. I have it on right now. It is comes with a brush, which is always fancy and nice. I wish the brush was slightly longer, but that's just me. And it's in a little squeeze tube like this, which is kind of strange. So, if you haven't seen this yet, you squeeze a little bit onto the tip, and it's got this little flat area here. And I take my brush and I kind of stir it up just so there's no little clumps or whatever. And then using the nice angled brush, which if you haven't used one of these before, it's really nice because your hand isn't in the way and you can actually see exactly what you're doing as you apply your liner. Um, this is nice because it's thicker than a liquid but thinner than a gel liner. So I think it kind of like gel liners because they're so thick it can be kind of hard to use because they can clump up and it's easy to get too much accidentally and then you make a mess. Liquid is kind of hard because because it is liquid it can get kind of out of control a lot more easy. It can escape from you. And again, um, I think with all products though, the key, all liquid liner or liner, not pencil, uh, liner issues, the key to it, that took me a while to get out, but the key to that is to make sure you have just a tiny bit of product at a time. And I do like this. I think it's easy to use. I think if you are new at liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner that this will be easy for you, but also if you've been doing it for years, I think you'll love it as well. Um, I was worried that the brush might be a bit, I don't know if you can see that at all, but I was worried the brush might be a bit too thick because I don't have a lot of space there uh, to put eyeliner. Uh, I have like hooded eyes, so if I put on a really thick liner, it's gonna that's all you're going to be able to see on me. Um, so I had to keep mine in moderation and a few different things, like the Benefit Push-Up Liner, that was one of the reasons I never got that, because I tried it out in store and I couldn't get a thin enough line where you'd be able to tell the difference between, okay, this is my eyeliner lash line versus I'm wearing black eyeshadow. This you can though, you can get a really nice, just a little bit of product on here and it 
um, it is bristles and you can get it to I don't know get really nice and pointed and you can get it really close in, in the lash line so I've been liking that a lot you can also get it thicker if you want I think I might do a review on this product although I kind of just did but like a demonstration slash review on this if you're interested let me know but I am really liking that and that is new I haven't heard a whole lot about that yet but yeah oh and it's been really really out of stock like it was out of stock out of stock I got it put it in my court cart ordered it and then like 10 minutes later it was out of stock again on sephora.com so you might be able to find it in store easily then I have my birthday yes I'm a February baby so and I got the birthday present I am not the VIB Rouge which I'm actually kind of glad about who knows what will happen um but if you are it also comes with an eyeliner if you're a VIB or um, Beauty Insider, you get the uh, just these two without the eyeliner. Um, these are the, what are they called? The NARS uh, Satin Lip Pencil, and this is a Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and these are awesome. Like, I want to purchase more for my hand. Let's try this. Okay, so this is in Corella, and if you watch my video, the fashion haul, I am wearing this one, actually. It's so pretty, and they go on really nice and creamy, and even though this one is a matte velvet one, it doesn't feel dry. And this one is not in English. I don't... Rikugin? That's terrible. I have no idea. But on your birthday you can find out or you can just look on the website. It's this like pink mauvey dusty rose color. I don't know. It's really pretty. And I will swatch it. And this one's satin so it's got more of the shinier finish. These are awesome though. I'm a big fan. They're so easy to put on. They're really nice. They feel great on the lips so heck yeah. Awesome. Love them. Love them. And it's birthday present. Um, I also use some points and I for 100 points I could get another beauty blender cleanser, blender cleanser solid, so many words on there. Um, I really like this. It's good for cleaning your bl beauty blender as well as cleaning your brushes and it's a solid bar soap but it's great. It, I have it and this is going to be a um, backup for when that one's gone. But it does seem to last quite a bit of time so that's good. They sell it in the little casey thing for I think about $16, so 100 points for it, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And then I got a, um, for another 100 points, the, it's a Black Pine Firming Lifting Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream from Kors or Kores or however you want to say it. I haven't tried it yet, um, I don't know, it looked interesting to me. So I'm going to give this a go. I like things that say anti-aging, especially since I just had a birthday, so definitely on my mind. Um, okay, so, oh, one more thing I got from Sephora, I completely forgot. Um, I got, well, <laughs> one moment, I got the Lightweight Compact uh, T3, oh, Featherweight Compact Hair Dryer. That's a lot of words just to get out, Hair Dryer. Um, I love this little guy, I've been, I don't normally do a lot of effort on my hair, as you probably noticed from my videos, uh, but because it's so cold here, I do have to dry my hair all the time. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a good quality hair dryer, um, just to hopefully do a little bit less damage. And also, this guy is amazing because of two things. One, he folds up like this, which I feel like I'm going to break him, but he folds up. And also, he is dual voltage, so you can change him from 250 to 125 volts, which I um, plan on traveling all over Europe, so that is amazing and very useful. Also, it comes with the little um, concentrator nozzle that just goes right on like this. And it comes in with, comes in a box, comes with a nice little pouch that you can just put it in and tie it right up. And this guy is, let me say, he's compact because he folds up nice and small. But also, he's really, really lightweight, so he's not going to take up a ton of space in my luggage, which is nice because I'm going to try and. Uh, I'm going to try to do the whole one bag carry on thing and pack really light. I don't know how that's going to go. I think I might do a video on that because I'm a very girly girl and packing light is definitely, definitely not my, uh, my forte. But I thought, I'm going to try, so I thought they'd be good to take with me and I do not have good experiences with, uh, hair dryers already in hotels. No, no, not at all. So anyways, I'm really excited about that and I've used it quite a few times and I'm in love. I think it's fantastic. Um, okay, just a couple more things now. Joke store wise, I picked got some eyelashes. Um, I don't wear them often. Okay, this is crinkly, so I'm gonna stop that. But I don't often wear fake eyelashes, like only a few times a year, to be honest. I'm not wearing them now. I hardly ever wear them in my videos unless I'm going for a very specific look. Um, but I decided to pick up some so that when I do want to have them, I can 
Yeah, and for fancier occasions, these are Red Cherry number 15. I picked up three pairs of those just to play with and maybe use a bit more in my videos because I, I don't use them very often and when I do, a lot of the times I wear demi lashes. But these are dramatic and I think they're going to be really pretty. So I'm going to give those a go. Um, I also picked up this uh, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. It's been out for a little while, but I finally got my hands on it. They don't sell CoverGirl here in the UK, so I had to order online. But I got lucky. I ordered it in color 105, and this is perfect for me. Um, it is cl uh, classic ivory. It is light enough, and it's not pink. A lot of the times to get something that's light enough for my skin tone, it goes pink. Because I am I'm rather fair. But I like this a lot. It doesn't look too mattified, but it helps my oily skin out and um it stays like rather well as long as I use a good primer with it of course it, it stays on really well and this is great I've been trying to get more into drugstore foundations and stuff like that because in a lot of my videos and things like that I tend to use higher end ones I just I wanted to get more into the drugstore scene so yeah really excited about that that's fantastic and then I also tried to go for the uh, L'Oreal Infallible these two new products that they have Again, I ordered them online because I haven't seen these in stores here in the UK yet. They might have it out and I just haven't seen it or I don't know if it's even here yet. But yeah, I ordered them again online. I got 101 Classic Ivory and 100 Porcelain. This one works out pretty well with my skin tone. It's not too pink. Like it's, um, it's got kind of a yellowish tone to it. But this came out, it, it's very pink. You can even see by the packaging. Like, it's not see-through packaging, but, but, yeah. This one is too light for me, which doesn't happen very often, and it's too pink for me. I'm, I am wearing it right now. Um, I just had to kind of mix it. I used a darker foundation on the perimeter of my face and then used this in the center point. So, that works out well enough. It's okay. Um, I feel like I'm kind of made it work, hopefully. If you've been looking at me this whole video being like, oh, her makeup looks terrible. Well that might play a part in it. But that's my fault for getting the wrong color. Um, as far as the finish goes, I think it looks really nice on. It is dimming, dimming matte, so it's not going to give you that glowy effect, but it's also not going to give you that really powdered, cakey, matte, dry makeup look. Um, if you knew what I'm talking about. It says it lasts 24 hours. I did not find that. I mean, well, I never wear my makeup 24 hours, but I've had it start coming off even after like eight. Um, but again, you can, uh, I, if I wear a good primer underneath it and if I touch it up with powder enough, it works out. And so yeah, the powder, I don't, I don't know why I paid $12 for this drugstore powder because it's the same as all the other powders I have, to be honest. It's supposed to, um, be matte, which it is, um, air fine, eh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel particularly heavy or look too cakey or whatever. It's supposed to last 16 hours, I don't think it does, but honestly, I don't see this being any different from any of my other drugstore powders, including my Rimmel powder, which maybe, okay, maybe it is a little more fine. Maybe it looks a little less cakey. Um, I will say that, I'm looking in the mirror here and saying, okay, maybe that that's a little better. But other than that, this was also $12, I believe, like, or $11.99. I think these are really expensive for drugstore products. Uh, but the foundation is pretty good. Um, and the powder is not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've been talking for way too long. This is way longer than I planned on being. I apologize. I like to talk. And I've got makeup all over my sleeve. I'm so good at this. Okay, so I'm going to go now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have new videos coming out. I think I have some pretty good ideas. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or what have you, please post them down below and I will be sure to answer those. I always appreciate getting your feedback and everything. Like this if you like this and if you want to see more. And if you want to see reviews or tutorials or whatever with any of these products that I've shown you, make sure you let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.